Great news, the brand new Mac Mini with the M3 chipset is going to be up to two times faster than the original Mac Mini what had an M1 chipset inside of it. I want to give you all the details about this and also the M3 Pro model too. And of course I want to go over the Mac Mini 2024 release date and price as well. But first a quick summary of where we are with the Mac Mini. At the beginning of 2023 we had a big update to the Mac Mini. It got inside it the M2 chipset and also the M2 Pro. It is Apple's cheapest Mac with an M series chip inside it and brings fantastic value. And going for an M2 Mac Mini, it's great for anybody who owns, say, a mouse, a keyboard, a monitor, and for those who want to do daily tasks like web browsing and making a few documents and light video and photo editing. And the M2 Pro version of the Mac Mini pushes out this Mac Mini to some entry pro users who may be maybe studying or who may be wanting to do photo or music or video editing and this Mac Mini gives superb performance with a couple of extra Thunderbolt ports on the back too. Essentially for 2023 the M2 journey is now at a close. We've had every chipset from the M2 to the M2 Ultra and apart from the Vision Pro that's coming out in the early part of 2024 and also possibly the iPad Air that may also get an M2 chipset inside it, we are now looking towards the M3 journey. But a question you might be asking is how much power will the M3 and the M3 Pro give us? Well the great news is we do know that information because we've had that new iMac with the M3 inside of it and also we got the M3 and the M3 Pro in the likes of the MacBook Pro 14 and 16 inch models we can work out what's going to be happening. So for the M3 Apple have even said themselves that the M3 chipset is up to two times faster than the M1 chipset than what we got in the original iMac and this obviously will be the same with the Mac Mini because we'll be getting exactly the same chipset there. Then also the M3 Pro Pro as well, we're going to be looking up to gains of probably about 30 sort of 40 percent in speed increases over what we got with the original M1 Pro that came out in the MacBook Pros, what came out in 2021. So this is going to be great news to see these enhancements. But for the actual body design and things like this on the actual Mac Mini, it's probably all going to be staying the same. And this is going to be probably the main changes, just the chipsets inside of both of these models. Very similar to like what we've had with the MacBook Pros very recently. Also guys, just quickly at this stage, I do also want to mention any new leaks and rumours that come out for the new Mac Mini and even including the release date, they're not 100% proof they will come true. I can only present to you what I've been told and shown. However, if you are still watching this video, then you're as curious as I'm knowing what is being said about the next Mac Mini anyway. I quickly want to talk to you about the giveaway we're having on this channel right now and it is for this. It is for an iPhone 15 Pro Max and I'm going to be giving this away to one lucky viewer around the time of end of December to early January time. So that week between Christmas and New Year, I'm going to be doing a live giveaway stream revealing who the winner is for this iPhone 15 Pro Max and it's really easy to enter in. All you have to do is leave a comment in this video here or any other videos coming up in the future telling me of what tech you're planning to buy in the remainder of 2023 or maybe into 2024. If this is Apple gear, Samsung gear, whatever gear, I'd love to know. Put it down in the comments below. And also at the same time, if you want to know when that live stream is going to be happening, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because you'll want to get some notification of when that is actually happening. Because to be honest, December is not that far away. And I will just quickly say, guys, sadly, there are still spammers and scammers out there. Some of them still impersonating myself, telling you to part with money for shipping and things like this. This is not me at all. I'll be paying for shipping on this international giveaway so that means anyone can enter in in the world and I'll be paying for taxes and things like that too. So you don't need to worry about any of that at all. But if you do see any of these scammers or anything, please do report them as you can see right here.
So, release date next of all. Now, obviously, we have had the new M3 chipsets released now in the MacBook Pro and also the iMac 2. So, it does look like that the Mac Mini is definitely a desktop that does need an upgrade. Most likely in springtime, we're going to be seeing updates to iPads. Probably nothing on the actual Mac sort of front because iPads are way overdue. So, this basically leaves then most likely we'll see updates to the Mac Mini to get the M3 and the M3 Pro at WWDC 2024, what is around about early sort of summer time so this is about early sort of june time so we could be getting a hand on these new chipsets inside the mac mini around about mid sort of june time 2024 because this just makes logical sense for this to happen and also apple to bring out the m3 ultra in the likes of the mac studio and also inside the mac pro 2 so it's a full desktop upgrade so without the way guys let's talk about the mac mini specs for the m3 and the m3 pro and along with its prices too so then starting out then with the mac mini with an m3 chipset or the m3 pro basically the actual design of the mac mini is staying because at the end of the day the mac studio also is basically just a bigger version of a mac mini so you would want to get that upgraded and new design as well as the mac mini and as the mac studio is such a new design anyway it's not going to upgrade the design of the mac mini anytime soon but moving on for storage options we will still have 256 gigabytes of storage going all the way up to four terabytes ssd that's if you go with that m3 pro option so then for the cores wise this is where things are a bit different depending on which chipset you pick so if you get yourself an m3 chipset the normal one this will start out an eight core cpu and then also you'd get a 10 core gpu too but obviously there are binned versions of the m3 version that could be coming out on the mac mini for the m3 and it's the same with the m3 pro the m3 pro goes up to a 10 core cpu but you can always get the 10 core cpu you to with this and then obviously you've got the gpu as well and this goes all the way up to an 18 core gpu but obviously there is obviously the option of the 14 core gpu too and again the same for ram as well it starts at 8 gigabytes of ram but this can go all the way up to 36 gigabytes of ram obviously if you pick out that m3 pro chipset You'll still have that aluminium uni body frame body that we have all the time and like I said it's not going to change and then for Thunderbolt 4 ports you'll either get two if you get the M3 or you'll get four Thunderbolt 4 ports on the back if you go with the M3 Pro. There'll still be two times USB 3.2 ports, a 10 gigabit Ethernet port available for both models but this will be standard on the M3 Pro and then also you get HDMI 2.1. The starting price for the most baseline version of the M3 with 256 gigabytes storage and 8 gigabytes of RAM will come in at 699 US dollars. So as you can see this time there's lots of options for the 2024 Mac Mini and it looks like it's going to be another powerhouse. And on that note guys it's also time to wrap up this video so if you have enjoyed watching it please do press the like button and also at the same time if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons please also make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. Until next time guys I will see you really soon. Take care. Bye bye.